Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to another class on linguistics. This is your teacher, Miu. I hope you all are doing well and safe and indoors. And I really hope that all these videos I've been making for you on linguistics in the past few months have been really beneficial for you. So in the last class, I taught you about the morphological analysis of words. You have been doing certain exercises on it. And I also taught you the theory behind immediate constituent analysis. So in this particular video, I wanted you to show you how to do IC analysis of sentences. So today I'll be using this whiteboard to show you, to demonstrate how to do IC analysis of simple sentences. So let's do the immediate constituent analysis of this simple sentence, the cat chased the rat. So first of all, we have to we are doing IC analysis uh, in tree diagram method. So let's do this is a sentence. So S is equal to NP plus VP. NP being noun phrase and VP being verb phrase. And let's look at what NP is. The cat chased the rat. So verb phrase starts where the verb starts. So the verb of the sentence is chased. So we can cut it here. The cat is the noun phrase and chased the rat is the verb phrase. Let's split the cat now. The cat is again, the is a determiner. The, the is a determiner. And cat is a noun. A determiner, the, noun, cat. So I hope you got that one. And let's look at the VP now, verb phrase now. Chased the rat. So let's look at that. VP is equal to, this is the main verb. Chased is the main verb. Main verb plus the rat is again another NP. This is again a noun phrase because there is a noun here. So it is again a noun phrase. So let's split the main verb now. Chased. Main verb in it, split it. Again, there is a verb and then there is the tense. Tense is past. Because ed, ed is the past tense and the verb is chased. Again, np is equal to determiner plus noun. Determiner is the and noun is rat. So you see how I have analyzed it to the last morphemes. Morpheme level of another way is sentencing and analyze it. And let's just read all this together. The cat and past of chase. That is chased. The rat. The cat chased the rat. So this is how you do a simple IC analysis of a sentence. S is equal to NP plus VP. NP is equal to determiner plus noun. VP, here at least VP is main verb plus noun phrase. And the main verb here is or tense plus verb. That is past tense of chase. Then NP is again as determiner plus noun. That is the rat. The cat chased the rat. So let's do another IC analysis for another simple sentence. So this sentence is the boys shouted loudly. Let's do it. First of all, S is equal to NP plus VP. And NP is the boys. VP is shouted loudly. Let's do NP first. NP is again determiner plus noun. Determiner is the noun is Boys. And next VP. VP is shouted loudly. How do we divide it into two? Main verb plus. Loudly is actually, you can't see, say that it is a, um, it, it is an NP. Loudly is actually adverb. So we can say adverbial. Okay, adverbial. So again, an MV main verb, we will split it into tense plus verb. Tense is past tense and verb is shout. 
and adverbial we can split it into adjective and suffix adjective is loud and suffix is ly so the boys past of shout is shouted the boys shouted loudly so this is a very simple example of how to do ic analysis so let's do another example of ic analysis this is another simple sentence tom ate a mango let's see how this is done first of all s is equal to np plus v what is np here np is just tom and vp always begins at the verb ate a mango so here if you see there is no determiner here so np is a simple noun and that noun is tom and vp is ate a mango how do we divide that main verb plus np a mango is again another noun phrase again main verb we can split it into tense and verb tense is eat is past of eat past tense of eat and np is again a mango a is a determiner mango is a noun determiner a ma noun mango so here we can see tom ate a mango tom is a noun np is very simple here np is not determiner plus noun np is just a simple noun you know the rest of it is good determiner is actually all the articles come under determiner a and the etc all this come under um determiner which i will teach you in detail in the next class next let's do the ic analysis of a bigger sentence let's see how to do this sentence a young girl with an umbrella chased the boy first of all s is equal to np plus vp now where do you split np and vp np nu parnal aare kurichaano parayna who is the noun uh, in this particular sentence it is a young girl but where does the description about the young girl finish the a young girl with an umbrella and here the verb starts at chased so it is a very long noun phrase and a common verb phrase let's look at the noun phrase next how do we split a young girl with an umbrella so naturally we can split it at a young girl and with an umbrella again np is equal to a young girl is again another np and with an umbrella that is a phrase which starts in a preposition so that is an example of prepositional phrase so it is prepositional phrase okay let's do a young girl next a young girl again uh determiner plus noun phrase young girl okay determiner is a in young girl how do we split it next adjective plus noun adjective is young and noun is girl so i hope you get that one in prepositional phrases with an umbrella so how do we split that prepositional phrases preposition plus noun phrase and the preposition here is with noun phrase is again determiner plus noun determiner is an and noun is umbrella so you see how i did it prepositional phrase with an umbrella adu cut cheyandathu with an umbrella so with is the preposition and an umbrella is again another noun phrase an umbrella can be split into determiner and noun again with an umbrella now let's do vp vp is the same as the ones before vp is main verb plus noun phrase what is the main verb here 
Male verb can be split into tense plus verb. Tense is past. Verb is chase. NP is again determiner plus noun. Determiner is, let's put it down here, the and noun is boy. So let's look at the big picture here. A young girl with an umbrella chased the boy. Again, a young girl with an umbrella chased the boy. So I hope you get a better picture of how to do IC analysis using this big sentence. So it is, it might look a little complicated, but as you work it out, this will happen uh, really easy for you. So that was how to do IC analysis of sentences. It's actually pretty simple if you devote a little bit of time to work it out. So you know the principle behind it. The principle behind it is binary segmentation. So you get a sentence, you split it into two. Then you again split what you have into two until you get the level of morphemes. So that is how IC analysis is done. It is actually pretty simple. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was beneficial for you in your lesson on linguistics. And have a good day. Bye.